Okay, I'm going to take a real quick video of our uh, HEV that we are selling. Uh, I like to do videos of these bigger items because, uh, well, especially something that runs and drives because uh, you kind of don't know exactly what you're getting, uh, especially if you see this online. So it's a 2008 Kawasaki Prairie 360 four-wheel drive automatic. It's got the low, <clears throat> low range or low gear, high gear, neutral, and then reverse. Uh, shift on the fly four-wheel drive with the button up here. It's got a front diff locker by holding this guy when you're in low range. <clears throat> Electric start. Those are your indicator lights there. It's pretty much the base model of the Kawasaki Prairie line, meaning that it doesn't have a uh, odometer, um, anything like that. It just gives you basic warning lights, neutral uh, oil pressure or oil light if you're low on it, and then reverse. And then it has a check belt light. It was just serviced. And what I mean by service is the belt was inspected, it actually was still good, so we didn't have to replace that. Uh, oil change was just done on it, and then most importantly, uh, we just had the carb gone through, uh, completely rebuilt. It was running good, but it would have a little trouble starting, um, and we could tell it was something to do with the carburetor. So we did that, now it runs excellently, you don't even need to use the choke, so. Uh, Four-wheel drive works great on it. Uh, as you can see, the tires are like brand new, super uh, meaty tires on it. Um, wheels are in pretty good shape. I've got a couple little dings on them, but uh, overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's got a couple cracks in the plastic. I will show you, like there, uh, some discoloration that could be cleaned up. The bars are straight; it's never been rolled. Um, really, it's been used on a farm. Um, a little bit we, we've taken it off road a few times but if you look down here you can see how clean everything is underneath it it's rust free uh, the boots are in good shape and um, you know all the metals in good shape and whatnot um, what else on it it's independent front suspension with a solid rear and for our purposes that worked out best so we could still tow around a small trailer on it although we never really did much of that and then the little door back here, the little straps are off of it. You should be getting new straps. You can see them hanging there. Um, yeah, you can see how clean it is from back here. Brakes work good on it. Uh, I'll fire it up. Uh, it's kind of cool how it pops the this pops your uh, back area here open. The battery's good on it. Um, got a fairly fresh oil or air filter. It was changed about three months ago. Full start. Uh, off reserve and then fuel on there and I think that pretty much does it I'll go on a pretty quick test drive here just to show you it does move it doesn't make any weird noises and everything I just washed it but uh, and I drove it before that but it's been sitting a couple hours so trying not to get it all muddy again um, pretty simple to start this guy so neutral you don't have to actually have any neutral you can just put it in high and then hold the brake and then the choke is here. You can hold that if you need to, but actually it doesn't really need the choke. Um, it has an override. I think that says something to do with reverse. Maybe it'll let you start it in reverse. Or it gives you more power. I can't remember. But um, the lights do work on it. Uh, let's see. They're not on right now. I think it needs to be running. But uh, let me remember do this guy. I gotta hold a brake. Oh shoot. I'm sorry I'm just fine. I might have got something wet when I was washing it. Pop this guy off here. Check the battery terminals, they feel okay. It's probably good to watch this anyway because if you ever have a hard time starting something. Oh, okay, now I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, I, I confess. All right, see, there's a key there, so it comes out. It's obviously not off position because I was able to pull it straight out. Now we get the lights on it, and then over here you get this, and you so when you hold the brake in, and then it fired right up. So all the lights are off now. Uh, lights bolt on don't want to hit the gas like I just did when you're leaning over the front um, it idles real good 
and uh, yeah, I mean it's probably still cold enough. I can put my hand all over it. Um, you know, they're still in their head, so I'm touching it right now. Obviously, it's cold. I don't want to do that too long because it doesn't smoke or anything. Uh, there's your your muffler, and if I get a lot. No weird noises with the motor. Actually, it really runs very, very well. So, other than my stupidity not putting the key on. All right, so it's got a little foot brake. I always like to put it in foot brake when I go in to put it in gear. And your light comes up for reverse there. And then it just goes. So, now you see I'm holding, holding the phone still. So, it is a fully automatic machine. It's actually geared very low. I rarely need that low range, but every once in a while. I have the idle set pretty low right now. I don't like high idles on these things. Um, uh, let's see, I don't know if I can get out of here. I apologize, the light right now is kind of bright. Let's close this guy. I think I can squeeze around this. So we got a trailer for sale too. Nice, nice big trailer. Oh, I don't want to go too fast. Just for the sake of uh, driving with one hand. So it's so really easy to turn. I'm doing it with one hand right now. And now I just want to show you the rest of everything. Make sure you see everything does work on it. Okay, so you got to stop all the way. And then put that in low range. Now you got low range. Now this is two wheel low range. And if you need four wheel drive, you notice the indicator is not on. Where's it at? Right here. Okay, not on. But if you click this guy over, that pushes your four wheel drive light. And then move a little bit. I don't know if you can see the light. It's right there. Okay. Now it's in four wheel. So four wheel low. You can do four wheel low or you can do four wheel high. The train is just loose, but you can keep up your speed. You want to do it high. And then if things get really gnarly, you go back into low range. And over here, it's got a front diff lock. Okay, you squeeze that guy in. You gotta be stopped when you engage this guy, and it's gonna be a little hard to show this just because I gotta squeeze the lever and press the gas. But it will make your turning really, really difficult. Sticky situations, maybe some loose rock you're climbing, and whatnot. So I'm gonna go back into two-wheel drive, and then what you gotta do a little, a little bit usually, just move and see how that turned off right there. All right, so we'll go back into neutral, and I can get off of here. So it's a very clean unit. You'll be happy with it. Uh, you won't pay an arm and a leg for it, even though it's a fairly new ride and it doesn't have a odometer on it never did but as far as mileage which I'm sure everybody's gonna try to want to figure out um, we've used it about three weeks out of the year so when we're on the ranch uh, which is about 200 miles west of here we have it up there but in, otherwise it sits inside of a barn and uh, or my garage here and collects dust so uh, we went to dirt bikes and we had this just as a backup for doing stuff around the ranch or uh, when a friend came into town and most of our friends don't ride these things or they ride a dirt bike, so. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to give me a call or uh, email me, text me, whatever works for you. And I'd be happy to answer any questions I can. And uh, yeah, I think that is it. I appreciate it.